through Sunday school yeah. testimonies to Jesus. And one reason why I'm so full is that I know God is with me. Hey. Yeah. 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 Thou maker is thy husband. Uh -huh. 
Even though I'm married to my wife, I'm still married to her, to him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right. We got to get, we can't get that twisted. Yes. For that, if, let me start over. For thy maker is thy husband. The Lord of hosts is his name. Yes. And thy redeemer, the holy one of Israel. That God, the God of the whole earth, he should be called. Keep saying, if you single, you are married to God. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Come on now. You're married to him. Yeah. All right. Say it again, Elder. You're married to God. Yeah. Yeah. And he's coming. Because when you came down that aisle and said, I surrender, yeah. Yeah. he's coming. Yeah. That's right. Trust me on this one. He is coming. Yeah, he's coming. Yeah. Because why? Because people that seen a 360 degree turn in your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. And when you walk in places, because see, some of us we get weak. But when you walk in places, demons then bow down to no, you. That's yeah. right. yes. When you walk in, darkness, light comes on. That's right. yeah. that's you got to believe it. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. If you don't believe that, he said that if you have faith of a mustard, it's just as a mustard seed. Yeah. You can make a mountain move. Yeah. On, you man. got to talk to your yeah. situation. Yeah. 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 But you don't be talking like, oh, I'm broken. He said, no, I denounce brokenness. No matter what it looked like, I'm still the king. I mean, still the son of the king or the daughter of the king. It just don't matter. Because I know it's a trap. I'm just being squeezed. Hey, glory to you. Because from the overflow, because right now we get it right, right now. While we down here, Come on, man. Right now. like they say, the more money you get, the more problems you have. Yeah. But when you're down here, you're getting tried. The more you go up, the more trials you're going to get. Yeah. Yeah. The higher up he's coming. Yeah. 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 Hey, man. Yeah. 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 We are married to him. Yeah. Hey, glory to you. Oh, First, we need to love ourselves. Yeah. How do we do that? When we lay in his bosom. See, because God's love will make you love some people that you just can't stand. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, speak, Lord. It don't want to act like uh, yeah. You got to kill it daily. Yeah. Yeah. How you do that, preacher? Before your feet hit the for hit the floor in the morning, Lord, I thank you. Yeah. 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 Like you that. give your honor. Yeah. Yeah. You know where you weak at. Yeah. yeah. Come on, somebody. Come on, man. Your wife, if you're mad, or your husband, if you're mad, they, they just know them, but they don't know them skeletons uh, that be trying to creep up. They don't, they're not with you 724 like Almighty God is. Talk, Elder. God knows what you're going through. There you go. Because if we do not love ourselves, we cannot love someone else. Come on now. Because loving people is difficult. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is what God's command us to do. Let's yes. turn to 1 John. Yes. Hey, glory to you, Lord. Teach. You're worthy. I thank you. Hey. Saving a wretch like me. Come on, come on. First John, First John the third chapter, yes. and eleventh verse. Uh -huh. Come on, mom. But this is the message that ye heard from the beginning that we should love one another. See, we got to love one another. Yeah. Uh -huh. And this is what's been talking all through the two, through to the day. Testimonies, the Bible study. I mean, our Sunday school. We got to love one another. Yes. And it starts at home. Yes. That's right. That's right. You hear a lot of people talking about when they're about the kids and stuff, this and that at school and everything. Uh, well, the school, if the school is not supposed to raise your children, the church is, and, you know, we bring them here to get educated, but it still starts at home. Yes. So you're just dropping your kids off at Sunday school and expect that they're going to get, get it. They might be getting something planted, but it still starts at home. How do you, yeah. you got to show love at home. 
I got to, if I say I love my wife, I got to show it. That's right. That's right. I got to show it. Even if she cutting up, not saying she's cutting up, if she ain't, yeah, hey, hey, okay. You know what I'm saying? See, that's a hard thing for, let me, can I just go back a minute for G.W.? Yeah, that's a hard thing. <laughs> but see, if I say that I'm saved and sanctified, I got to trust him that he can change the way that she's thinking. Yeah. Vice versa. It starts at home. Yeah. It starts with us here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Loving each other. Amen. Having the mindset of Christ when people walk through the door. Oh, Who on the back door? Hallelujah. <laughs> Who on the back door? When somebody come in and greet them. Like I said once before when I was teaching. We greet everybody when we come to our houses. Our shepherd shouldn't have to say anything. Love. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what's going to change the world. Yes. And we have the power to change the world That's right. within our circles. And then it goes abroad. Amen. Hey, glory to you. <laughs> when we spend time on what we think is important, it's time with family, which is good, mm -hmm. friends, serving the poor, work, prayer. Are fighting for rights. Mm. We see that all the time. But let's go to First Corinthians. Yeah. See, because this is what a lot of us we hang our head on. When I'm doing all of this here, then it's everything there. But it, I'm, I'm gonna let First Corinthians. That way, you won't be saying I see it. But you First Corinthians, Corinthians, the thirteenth chapter. Hey, glory, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord. First Corinthians, thirteen chapter. I'm gonna take my time. I ain't in no hurry. Okay, is that all right with you? <laughs> and the third verse. Do I restore all my goods to feed the poor? Okay. Mm. Do I give my body to be burned? Mm. Ooh. Have not love. It profits me nothing. You see that? Yeah. You can be doing all them things. Yeah. Like I said, serving, praying. Yeah. You know, I love you, baby, but really yeah. not really mean it, but you're just <laughs> saying it into your mouth. Yeah, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. That's what a lot of us hang our heads on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah. your heart is far from God. Oh, yeah. my God. Hey, glory to you. Jesus. Far from God. It has become a form, it has become a religion in the church and even in our homes. Wow. Look at the homes. Yeah. Yeah. Marriages is on the rocks. And the majority of the marriages is Christian marriages. Wow. They're doing a study. It's more Christians getting divorces <laughs> than the unsaved. That's right. Uh oh. Hold on. And we say we will. I'm single then. It don't mean, yeah, okay, it fits you too. Because yeah. you're married to God. Well, All right. <laughs> we have the freedom to set our, our own priorities. <laughs> Come on, Jesus. You know, Jesus make a great point. Let's go to Matthew, the 22nd chapter. Mm -hmm. Well, I had to say out on a whole lot of stuff, especially what he got for me and my wife to do, because I'll say, Lord, you know what? I can't even see it. I don't know how you're going to do it, but I believe that he's going to do it by faith. Amen. First, I got to have that love, that faith and hope, because I know it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. But I got to be on page with my daddy. That's yeah, right. I trust him. If he can bring up me from the vomit that I was in, and mm -hmm. he can do anything. Amen. I'm not saying I was all that, but I was on my, I was all of that on my way to hell. On your way to mm hell. -hmm. First class, because if you're gonna stay out there in hell, let me put that out there. Uh -oh. You might as well go first class. Uh -oh. first class. <laughs> if you're gonna be a hooker, go first class. Uh -oh. Don't you, they don't talk about you. <laughs> well, well, let me say it like this then. You got a sugar daddy, he come around, he only paying the light bill, you might as well go first class. He might well. be paying everything. <laughs> Put a whole lot of notches on that 
bell. Because that's what the men say. I got knocks here, knocks there. Yeah. You might as well go first class because you're on your way to hell. Because huh? yeah. when you're running around out there, yeah. Yeah. you don't know what you might pick up. Come on, man. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's right. You Lord, know. Matthew, the 22nd chapter, 37 through 40. Got off here a little bit. Hold on, Mom. Hallelujah. Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God. Yes, I'm going to Where are you? Uh, Matthew, the 22nd chapter. 22nd. Uh, of chapter and then the 37 verse through the 40. Okay. Jesus said unto him, uh -huh. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, uh -huh. and with all thy soul, and with all thy with all our minds. Thank you, Lord. Where are you yielding your members to? Hmm. Hmm. Where are you hanging out with with your mind? Uh -oh. All right. With your mind. Mm -hmm. Come on. It's okay. it's okay to have a good time and everything. But is your mind slipping like the Bible says? We live in the world, but we, we live in the world, but we do not be like the world. That's right. Okay. Amen. So where? So is your mind leaning back to what God saved you from? Mm. The Bible says, "Don't be like a dog returning to his own vomit." Uh -huh. Say that again. Do not be like a dog, dog, Mama. returning to his own vomit. Because see, a dog will throw up. <laughs> You uh, run all off and then come back and then lock up like this, lock it up. Oh, 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 off the prize, yeah. the one that hung on that ugly tree that died for us, for our sins, mm. and then we're going to go back to our vomit. Mm. Where are you giving your mind to? Oh, it's okay to entertain, have fun, but when it becomes more of your time with God, yeah. you got a problem. Yeah. yeah. You got a problem. Hey. Mm. Okay. My God. This is the first and the great commandment. Yes. We are 38. Mm. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbors as thou sayest. Mm. On these two commandments hand, hangs all the laws of the prophets. Yes. Got to get it right. Please believe me. We got to get it right. We have to have faith and glory to you. Hope, love, because God is love. We should love one another as He has loved us. Let's go to John. Hey, glory to you. Thank you, Dad. Because I know you've been loving on me. First John. First John. The fourth chapter. Then we're going to read 10 through 11. Uh -huh. Herein is love. Not that we love God, but that he loved us. Hey, all right. Let's say that we'll start over again. Herein is love. Not that we love God, but that he loved us. That he loved us. And sent his son to be the propitiation for our lives. I mean, for our sins. For be our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we ought also to love one another. One another. We gotta love one another. It starts at home. Amen. It starts at home. Yeah. Well, I'm single and I don't have nobody at home. But you live in any kind of way. Right. Uh, right. It starts with you. Yeah, exactly. Do you love yourself? But you claim to be under the umbrella of salvation. And you know what I'm saying? Live in any kind of way. 
Because see, coming down your street or your alley. Uh -oh. ah, hello. Because see, my uncle said one time, powerful man of God, because I, I respect him, because he said, nephew, come on to California. And I was living in any kind of way. Your family know him. Yeah. Wretched. Nephew, come on. You need to get away. Your family know you. So, you live in any kind of way. And you single. And see, here's what the word to do. Like he said, the gay boy come in and said that he ain't got saved. This right here is going to become like this here. They're going to have some bass in it. They're going to have some bass in his voice. Ain't going to be no more switching in high heels and lipstick and coming out at night time. He's going to become this. Okay? He said, you ain't got to say nothing to word. Yeah. Like Shepard say, fruit inspection. Fruit right. inspection. People say they love God, but your life. Yeah. Your life. Say that. Look at this here. This is straight. Make sure. Make sure. You see the scene with that? That's straight. Yeah. You ain't gonna be stopping and then going back over what you to your vomit. You are gonna stay straight with it. You might have some falling off, but not that vomit yeah. stuff, cause you might not understand something. And you know, cause sometimes Shepard says something. I say, I don't understand that. You know what I'm saying? But I go on and do it anyhow. Even though I don't understand what God is saying, but I'm going to do it anyhow because that's his word. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. what it says. Even though my flesh is crying out. Shepherd and my mom. Mm -hmm. 
for believing in me, Amen. sticking with me. Amen. Hey, glory to you, because when I came here, hey, I was not pretty. Don't burn bridges. Don't burn bridges. Even in your family, don't burn no bridges. You grant up young folks, you grant to leave out on your own, leave right. Hear me. Leave right. When you leave that world, when God has saved you, don't go back. Please hear me. Don't go back. Oh, I'm a fool. Ephesians, the second chapter. Mm -hmm. And the, uh, let me take my time here. Second chapter, and the eighth through nine. Mm -hmm. For by grace are you saved uh -huh. through faith, and that not of yourself. And not of yourself. Right. Your good works ain't going to get you yeah. behind in. No. So you said behind, yes, I did. Yeah. It ain't going to get you in. That's Your right. gifts, well, I, you know, I'm to tell. Yeah, okay. Right. Yeah. Okay, and then going right back out to your vomit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Lord. Oh, oh Lord. Lord. Like the world. Oh. Only time they want to do something good oh. is during the holidays, and then they're pimping you in so oh, they man. need your money. Oh. Well, we want to just be there, just bless that side. No, Christmas is every day. Hello. Yeah. All right. Jesus just didn't do no healing on those certain days. Yeah, he yeah, went yeah. through the utmost part. Yeah, saving yeah. people, living a life yeah, yeah. that made people want to say, what is it that that not change you? Yeah. You ain't got to blow no bugle home. Huh. You ain't got to blow no home. All right. Your lifestyle would, 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 would make people want to know, especially the ones that know what you used to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come. Come on. Say, but by grace are you saved through faith. And that not of yourselves. Mm -hmm. It is the gift of God. Of God. God gives the great things. God don't give you nothing nasty. Amen. Everything is good when daddy gives it to you. That's what it is. It's that not of works. That's any man should do. Okay. Don't be around there boosting. Well, you know how. I, 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 you, you didn't hear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hear them on the preach them on TV. Oh, you know, I'll be ready to give up. Uh, this is my. You ain't got to even say that. Just give it. Just, just, just give it. Exactly. You know, me and my family then, and you know what I'm saying? All right, kid. Y'all don't give this way. You know what I got a problem with? If God called you, you ain't got to whoop nobody. Oh, no, you don't. You ain't got to whoop the people. You just let them know. All right, now, like Shepard do. It, what the word says. Now, if you don't give it, I'm going to give it. But it's on you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. See, because you don't have no faith in, in, in what the word is saying. That's right. Oh, my God. Jesus. We read the ninth, right? Do not vote. Oh, okay. Yes. We have to talk about love and faith. Now, hope will put you over the top. And the reason why, when you are grounded in God, hope provides the, 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 the motivation to live a godly life even in the times of trouble. Because mm -hmm. boy, sometimes trouble will knock up on your door yeah, and, will, and sometimes you can get so bleary mm -hmm. and you don't know what's going on yeah. but you still holding on to God's hand because you got to remember God's hand is not sharp. Come on, and I got faith and hope in him. You got to have hope in God. Amen. Mm, hope is like a soldier's helmet. Hey, glory to you. Mm. Hey. Mm. Like they talk about the helmet of salvation. The ship always had, had this up here. A lot of people don't see that. We yeah. got to put the whole armor on. Yeah. Mm. This church has some real good things in here. We Sometimes we just get so comfortable we don't really be oh, seeing it. Yeah. Yeah. We, get, we, get, we get comfortable. Yeah. 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 And that's when, you know what I'm saying, in the streets we used to say, as brothers, and don't get caught with your drawers down. Yeah. Oh, right. See, because the, the pants and stuff is down. You can't, you can't hey, get paid back on. Hey, let's keep it real. In other words, don't.
don't get that, it means don't get relaxed. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The yeah. church world has got relaxed. Yeah. If the shoe don't fit you, then I ain't talking about you. Oh, I'm talking about the ones that want to go to the next level. Every year, it, it, before the year comes in, it's a New Year's resolution. Well, why not have the New Year's resolution is that I'm going to live this thing? Yeah. Right. It don't matter because yeah. if I live this thing, he's going to make weight fall yeah. on me. Yeah. 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 Because I'm going to have that. He's going to give me the desires to do it. I'm not going to be sluggish or late anything. Come but on, the man. helmet Thank you, of salvation, because see, this is where it comes to get in that mind. Because yeah. Yeah. when he start messing with that mind, that's when he got you. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Jesus. Jesus. Said, hope is like a soldier's helmet because it protects the mind. Yeah. yeah. Or it's like a sailor. Mm. Anchor. Oh. Hey, glory to you. Because he is steadfast. The heart, sometimes when a storm comes, if you ain't anchored, you know, when you're on a boat, like we like to go out on the Tyson at the them pantoons, pontoons, and we get out there and we throw the little, have a little thing you throw it out there and it keeps the boat anchored, even though it might be some waves come. But you anchored. Hey. Wow. I'm anchored. <laughs> I'm anchored. It don't matter. Yeah, you're hitting up yeah. against me, oh, yeah. but it don't matter. Nah. I'm anchored. I'm anchored in this thing because what? Hey, let's get real. A storm don't last long. No, no. no. Natural storms don't last long. That's the same thing with life. Sometimes God might be just saying, "Hey, I'm paraphrasing." Yeah. Look at him over there. Look at her over there. And going through the storm. I see. I told you. You know what I'm saying? Just like parents there. Boy, that child of mine is that one there. Boy, he just said, went through so much. Just that's how Daddy is. That's how God is. Sometimes God just, just wants you to be his showpiece. That's right. Because yeah. yes, yes. that's what we're supposed to be. Yes, if you're the king, if you're the, if you're the son of a king, mm -hmm. you got the rights to everything. Some of them, some of them kings, them sons be cutting up everything, but they still got the rights to everything. Hey. everything. Yes. Yes. But when you're the king of the most high, uh. and then when you serve him, with love, that you love him. I love her, but like she said, the other thing, though, but hey, if he ain't got no Jesus in him, I don't need him. Hello, right. <laughs> he got that, like she said, you got to have Jesus in you, brother. Yeah. Like Same thing. Same thing. Hello. She might be able to cook good and do all the other, you know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah, uh -huh. but if you ain't got Jesus, yeah, Come on. it don't matter. Come on. Right. You ain't the one for me. Amen. Amen. Because they coming, sisters. They coming, brothers. They coming. And a lot of them be right up in the church. Oh, because of, he's a, you know what I'm saying? He's, he's a pastor's mom up here. And she's a first lady mom up here. So what? How they live? Just because they the pastors and this and that, all my parents or whatever, or they go to New Jerusalem, or they go to such and such, but still, how they live? Yeah. Uh, how they live? Come on now. Whoa, whoa. How they live? I ain't even check with the pastor there. Pastor, what do you think? You know what I'm saying? Oh, you know, just, you know what I'm saying? Because you don't have no patience. This is really coming alive. You ain't got no patience. Because, see, loneliness. Oh, Jesus. My God. That's where you get us at. When we are living by faith in God, we can trust that he will keep his promise. Mm. It don't matter if love wants. God is not a God that goes against his word. Hey, glory to him. Yes. If you just let your mind think back when you got saved, when someone came to your rescue, God sent someone at a time that you was getting ready to just give up. Ooh. Mm. He came. Sometimes when we be praying, and then it seems like we praying, and our heart is right, and it just seems like it just ain't nothing going right. That's the storm. God's going to show up. God came out. You got to hang that on your tongue. He's going to show up no matter what the situation That's right. is. That's right. Let's go to Matthew. It's all right. We made the crack up. We were some hollering babies in church. Right. 
Dawn and Holler, baby. Because <laughs> <laughs> the prophet might be praising God. In that hall. <laughs> the sixth chapter mm -hmm. and, 30, and the 33rd verse. Oh. Matthew, what? The sixth six chapter. I'm, I'm coming on here. I ain't going to be gone. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. See, when you, no matter what it is, no matter when you're living by faith and you trust in God, you can be in God afflicted in your body, whatever it is. You just read what to do. He shall supply your needs. A lot of times we think the needs is tangible things. Yeah. Well, got a new car. You know what I'm saying? We just went on a vacation. We did this and that. Sometimes it don't even be that. Sometimes it might be praying for one of your loved ones. Amen. You yeah. Amen. Did we read uh, Matthew the 6, uh -huh. chapter 33? Okay. Now let's go to Revelation. Oh, the 21st verse. Eight. 21 chapter 21st verse and uh, 3 and 4 I'm trying to hurry up I'm, I'm going to get started later I'm sorry. and I heard a great voice out of heaven saying behold the tabernacle of God is with me and he will dwell with them and they shall be his people and God himself shall be with them and be their God thank you Lord and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither yeah. shall there be any more pain, for the former things yeah. are passed away. Yeah. Yeah. You, got to, you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to have no fear. Because as, as we say, I got you. You know, we tell, oh, I got you. I got you. Mm. Well, who's the best person that can really have? Uh, it's God. The one that creates you. Yeah. Yes. Hoping God help us to endure hardship, especially when suffering for practice for suffering. But also when you practice and start learning one, start practicing how to really depend on God. It's gonna really come at you. Faith, hope, love are the three greatest foundations of our lives. Apostle Paul wrote that the greatest of these is love. Yes. Let's turn to 1 Corinthians, the 13th chapter, 4 through 6. We're coming on in. Come on. See, because I know a lot of times, a lot of hooping and hollering. You ask somebody, what did you get? I knew it know he sounded good. You know what I'm saying? But, 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 it, but is it going to get you in heaven? Is it going to put something on your mind? See, it's no doubt in my mind when you leave out here. I know something's been put on your mind. I know it because he gave this to me, and I know you're going to go out of here thinking, so my job is complete for the day. Because when I come up in here and I'm listening to my, to my shepherd, the angel of this place, I'll be praying like, Lord, you need to give him something. Because, you know, a lot of times, I need to be fed, too. That's right. So give him some. I'm praying. Use him or whoever you're going to have up there today. Yeah. 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 See, that's the way I walk because I need. Yeah. Yeah. I need because I don't want to slip. Ooh. Hello. Because it's out there to make it slip. Yes. And this journey that he got me and my wife ready to go on, we got to be in tune. Yeah. In tune. Yes, sir. Where was I at? First Corinthians 13, 4 and 6. Yes, ma'am. Love suffered long and is kind. Love in the advice. Love bonus by itself is not puffed up. It's not puffed up. Come on, teach. Do it not behave itself unseen. Seek it not her own. Is not easily provoked. Think it no evil. Uh -oh. Not Preach. easily provoked. Come Are you on. easily yeah. provoked? Mm -hmm. I know I use that's one thing that I have a problem with. The temper. I'm like, you bake the cake, I'm going to put the frosting on it. <laughs> Come on now. Mm -hmm. Hello. <laughs> it just didn't matter, okay? Come just hot head like a hot pistol. Yeah. 
Come on. Hmm. Rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth. In truth. Thank the Lord. So sometimes when I shepherd up here telling the truth, or when you come to him, <laughs> and then he tell you, tell you what, what, what the Lord told him, right. and then you go out there and then you fall on your face because you didn't do what he told you to do. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, then, then what? The truth will set you what? Free. Free. In closing, do not let the enemy steal your joy this week. Hmm. Because it is a week about love. You got to always think about this. Oh, yeah. Be a good day and week. No matter yeah. what it right. looks like. Mm. Right. Hell all around. Hell all around me. Hey, Lord. Mm. But I know a God. Yes. yes. That's loving on me. Yeah. That got me. That really got me. I just got to switch the end of stone. That's it. That's it. And he hates that. He despised anything about real love because real love starts with God. If I can tell this lady here how much I love her and don't never demonstrate it. She likes flowers. I try to get her flowers every week. Oh, we just date somebody. Oh, <laughs> I did not feel like bringing no flowers. I started getting, you know, like I called the light clicks. You know what I'm saying? I stopped what? Because I wasn't listening. I was hearing, but I really wasn't listening to really what she was saying. I was hearing, but I wasn't really listening. That's what made her not. She wasn't asking for nothing. Just some flowers. Oh, I love flowers. I like to do this and that. Well, what is God saying? Uh, what do he like? Uh, because see, when we get on board with him, when we get on board with him, come on now. Everybody wants to know who you serve. He despised anything about real love because real love starts with God. He loves to entice you with evil and he hates and he hates for you to be an unforgiving person. Come on, he, he will remind you again and again of your struggles. Yes. He is an expert in our weakness. He makes you feel alone. This is one of the most ones that makes all of us fall. Loneliness. Amen. He will whisper lies of defeat. He will make you feel guilty and shame of your past. Ooh. And the number one thing he says over and over is that you will never change. Mm. Some of us yeah. accidentally went back and Went to our vomit, and then his first thing to see that I told you that Jesus stuff ain't no good. You belong over here. Isn't it so good? Because that flush, you did. Whatever you're doing, Ooh, it feels good. A little drink. Hey, pass that. Hey, set him up. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Then you broke. But that flush was feeling good. Good. Whatever your sin is, whatever's got you returned, whatever your vomit was that God saved you from, you know what you all was. And the number one thing he says over and over, you will never change. You will never get past what you did. Mm -hmm. See, that's when you start playing Russian roulette with your mind. When he start playing with that, he got you. Coming on in. You will never be able to forgive. You know, and that's one of the main things that we got to do is first forgive ourselves. Mm -hmm. 
But sometimes we forgave everybody else, but we haven't forgiven ourselves. Amen. Some of us have done some terrible, terrible, yes. terrible things. I'm gonna raise both hands. Hey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And people mm -hmm. will bring your past up. Yes, yes. Will. Yes. 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 Be ready. Mm -hmm. Serving God. Be ready for the fight. Because yes. I'm gonna bring your past up. Mm -hmm. Be ready to fight. And you will never be loved. I got two more, and then I'm going to show you. Let's go to Romans, the eighth chapter. Yeah. I know some of you probably tired, but it wasn't on me. This is the way the service fails. So hey, I got to do what he tells me. Yes, you do. Romans the 8th chapter, 35th verse through 39. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the smartest. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. We are, I, I we are killed daily in the morning time. We got to kill this. Yeah. We got to kill it. Come on. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, God which is in Christ Jesus. I know when it says creature, you know what the creatures are. Don't yeah. <laughs> I hope you do. Now let's go to Psalms and then we shut it down. First Psalms, I mean Psalms, the uh, first chapter, one through two, if we want to go wrong. You know, I really, 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 truly hope that you take from heart what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I really do. Because you know what? It's one thing about it, and I'm not sitting in no judge. Because I know my calling. And it's one thing that I have learned, been around some great teachers and one that's here. One thing you got to do is listen. You be dropping nuggets. Nuggets after nuggets. You have seen his life and his wife's life. They had just now lost their house. I'm pretty they lost their house, but it burned up. Preach y'all the week. Some of y'all been running in here. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Calling, you know what I'm saying? Straight up. Straight up. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> when he told me, I said, Chef, why you didn't come? He said, son, I started to call you. I didn't want to bother you. That did something. I was like, man, I, I got to be like that. That'd have been me, Chef. You know, I learned something. <laughs> it just don't matter. Yeah, he got Yeah, he got it. 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 But ain't nothing wrong with calling somebody. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> no, we would have been letting the whole world know. Call Channel 5 for whatever. Hey, want everybody to know. Come to my aid. And you wouldn't even come to nobody's aid. Right? You know who, who God is, is with. Amen. By their lifestyles. Amen. Come on, Bless Blessed the man. That walking not in the counsel of the ungodly. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Nor standing uh -oh. in the way of sin. Uh oh. You out there hanging out. You still. Uh oh. Nor standing in the seat of the scum. Uh oh. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. Ooh. Lord, and daddy. Well, whatever you say, daddy. Right. And in his law, he 
meditate day, day and night. night. Meditate day and night before before your rust before you lay your rust behind down the mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And you had some meditation with God. Uh, I woke up with a bad dream. Yeah, because you didn't go to work, you didn't go to bed. You didn't go to bed meditating on him. You wasn't on your rusty knees giving thanks. Sometimes you don't have to be on your knees just if you're laying in the bed giving communion to him. You waking up with all, oh, I'm, just, I'm just all messed up. Yeah, because you don't have no relationship. That's why you got all them bad dreams. Preach you the way That's why you messed up. Then watch something on TV or something, you know what I'm saying, or, or on pornography. Yeah. 